Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Episode 9 of the Newcastle United career mode on Next Gen starts now, so welcome to it. We're halfway through the January transfer window, and uh, I'm just going to be playing a Capital One Cup game against Fulham. I believe this is a semi-final, so I don't know if it's two legs or not, but either way, we'll get this game out of the way, continue on with some more transfer action. I will be hoping to actually purchase a player within, hopefully, this episode. Uh, and, you know, actually have him and use him and not like a pre-contract like we have been doing in the past. And before I get into this game against Fulham, I'll just try to connect to the EA servers. I'm sure some of you will probably know what's about to happen. My account, my Origin account has been banned, which means I can't get on Ultimate Team and I can't actually, like, do anything, really. Like, I can't, I can't play online. I can't connect to the servers. I can't, obviously, it means I can't buy anything from the catalog. So if I wanted to do anything career mode-wise, that's not going to be able, that's not going to be possible in this career mode because... Obviously, you can't move career modes across to other accounts anymore. And, um, yeah, so I've really got... There's nothing I can do about it. And what really shits me off about this is that I'm not getting, like, FIFA 14-wise, I'm not getting rewarded for doing this career mode, which is annoying. I'm not earning any of those coins which, which you can use to buy stuff in the catalog. And I'm not earning any XP. Like, I don't have any XP anymore. It's like, what is the point in me playing? The entire reason that I play FIFA 14 is to support my club and to get Newcastle United up the top of the leaderboards every single week with my daily XP. If I'm not earning any daily XP, what is the point in playing this game? Ah, oh, but enough of that. We're going to be playing Fulham in the first leg, I think. I don't know. This might just be one game against Fulham. So, we'll see how we go against it. Scott McBeanie is our referee. I have absolutely no idea why that is even worth mentioning. And look at this early on. Does he take a good touch? Yes, he does. Can he get away from whoever? 18 is huge. He just shoots. He just saves. He crosses. And then the header, it's gone straight to the keeper. Well, maybe not straight to the keeper, but Remy couldn't get enough power on it. I should have tried to go for a volley. Good delivery. And nobody on the end of it. And we have a man injured. Oh, it's Remy. Remy's gone down. Has he gone down before? What has he got? What a shit result this is going to be. And how long he's... Oh, sprained ankle. Could be worse, but we're going to have to bring Pape Cissé into the game now. Looks like we've lost a little bit of pace going forward. That's a little bit annoying. Tell you what else is annoying. The tackle that goes right back to them. And good sliding tackle from Santon. Bit of confusion. Doesn't matter. I know I wasn't talking throughout that passage of play, but we got the goal in the end. They threw it in, I cut it off, I crossed it in, and uh, I don't know what happened, but Cissé took it, had a shot, scored a goal. We finally got that goal. We've been knocking on the door for a while now, and um, it was about time. And Cissé has been terrific since coming on for rent. Oh, my word, that's the worst defending in the world. Colchini! Ah, that tackle. I saw that coming. Oh, Tammy Obi of all people, the forward pressure demon. No one forward. Gonna have to work this. Work it well? No, we're not. Good tackle. He got up. And he's off. And he's away. Not very quickly, though. And CC! There he is. He's onside. Well worked. And it's a goal. You beauty. Just called it. Just called it. I just, just called it. It's too... It's like he couldn't not score that. I have fucked that up in the past, but I was not going to do it that time. And it's 2-0... On the away leg, if this is a two-legged thing, I don't really know. Look at this. Turn. Beautiful. And that finish, that placement, was that far away from the post. It was terrific. Or should I say that far away from the post so you can actually see. That's nice. That's nice. That's very nice. It's straight to Stecklenburg. Come on. Put it wide. What is going on? That's a great ball. That's an unbelievable ball. It's a foul, though. We're going to take the advantage. Got to whip this cross into Cissé. Is he onside? He better be. Oh, I thought we had a... Oh. Fuck, it's too far, unfortunately. And the referee blows this with no goal for Cissé. It's oh, a few times, just a matter of centimetres, have stopped Cissé from getting a hat-trick. Like, it was just a little bit too deep, that cross. I thought we were about to see a spectacular bicycle kick to bring up his hat-trick. It didn't fucking happen, but... Oh, well. I'm actually complaining right now about a 2-1 victory over Fulham in the away leg. So, I don't know what the problem is here, but anyway... We're, at the moment, looking pretty good to be going to the final of the Capital One Cup. And how long is Remy out for? By the way, this was the player that I'm interested in picking up, by the way. Zachary Bakali. Uh, Zachariah Bakali, sorry. Um, only because he's the guy in career mode this year. I mean, like last year, there were a few really good ones. It's kind of up for debate, but most people would probably say Adrian, only because he was a real standout. 
Uh, this guy, seriously, is the only, no dispute, no argument. He's the guy that you get in career mode. And I am seriously, genuinely interested in picking him up only because it's the first year. You try to get him in your second year and it's, it's already too late. He's just grown by a bunch and it's very hard to get. So um, I'm obviously not going to be able to pick him up for 2.8 million. So I'm going to just start it off with four. I've heard of some people having to pay like 10 million for him in the first year. I've heard of some people paying like 5 million for him in the first year. We'll just wait and see uh, what PSV have to say. Okay, I couldn't find up with another word. But yes, we're going to go for Bacali. After Cissé's terrific performance, it's not, I guess, that bad a thing. Because Loic Remy, even though he's good, at, he's got some pace to him, Cissé's not that, he's not that slow. So, and he obviously had a very good game. So we're going to keep on advancing to this Premier League game against West Ham. What have we got? Clement Grenier has accepted. That's the big one. That's another big one, should I say. And uh, I'm going to go right ahead, accept that. And how many more spots do we have on our list at the moment? It says that we've got 35 players in total and we're allowed to have another seven. But this is what I'm thinking. I don't think that number includes all the players that we've just signed on a pre-contract. And we've just signed like potentially six or seven players on a pre-contract. So um, yeah, I might, from the looks of things, I might not even have enough space to sign uh, Bacali or potentially another pre-contract player unless I sell someone or... God forbid, maybe you have to release somebody. PSV have rejected the four million, so I'm probably gonna have to be paying a fair bit for him, sadly. But I do have I do have plenty of cash, and Bacali is a player that I really want to get. So why the hell not? They said no to f they said no to five. What would they say to five and a half? Five and a half. What do they say to five and a half million? We have an offer from Fulham on Jonas Gutierrez. You know what? It's half a million less than what he's worth, but I will honestly accept it because. It frees up one more uh, space. He, I didn't want. I was never going to play him. I haven't been playing him. He wanted to go, so we'll let him go. Game against West Ham now. I'm thinking about simulating it only because I'm really now engaged in transfers. I want to pick up a Carly as quickly as possible. We got a game against Chelsea after West Ham, and West Ham in the season in the FIFA 14 season, they're not doing too well. They're not in the relegation spot, but they're not far off it. Simulating away, they've got Tompkins out and Petrich out. I am, at the moment, I have a 100% record simulating games in the Premier League this year. It's about to change from the looks of things. We're simulating it away. Carroll scored a goal. There's still plenty of time left. Colacini, Cissé, he's done it again. That's the equaliser. Is there a second goal here? It's scored by Downing. They've gotten the lead back. Running out of time. 20 minutes to go. What's going to happen? is going to do it again. Is he going to get a hat-trick? What's going to happen? Will it finish 0-0? Will it... Oh, not 0-0. Will it finish 2-2? It has finished 2-2. West Ham, it's a draw against West Ham. Away, simulating. And that's the first not win. That's the first time I haven't won a simulated game in the Premier League this season. And uh, it's definitely a game that I probably would have won if I'd played them in real life. But, uh, or should I have said in, played them in the game? But what a... Sh uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Let's just get on with transfers. And after that draw, I have dropped from 6th to 7th. Player sold. I'm assuming that's uh, Gutierrez. Yep, the player has been sold. It's Jonas Gutierrez. So he's gone to Fulham now. Uh, I get 1.8 million for that. Press conference, Romania. Nope, nope, not much else on. We're still advancing and we're still waiting to hear something from PSV. And we still haven't. I've sent away a transfer. I know I have. Okay, so this is kind of weird because... I just sent a, I sent a $4 million offer for Bacali and PSV said no. I then sent a $5.5 million and I heard nothing back from them. There was no email. There was nothing. But I just went to transfer negotiations. It says it's in progress. And when I hit A, it says amend the contract offer. So even though I haven't heard anything saying that PSV said yes, I'm at the contract offer right now. And I'm probably about to sign Bacali for $5.5 million, which would be fantastic. Because that's a hell of a lot less than what I thought I'd have to pay for him. He wants 30000 for four years. I will happily give him that because it's going to be hilarious when an 85, 80, like 90 rated player is getting paid thirty grand every single week. Okay, so the lineup hasn't really changed too much. Hatton Ben Arfa was injured. He's now fit again. So he's coming back into the team. That's a good addition. Cissé, obviously, a striker replacing uh, Remy. And because of Remy being injured, I've had to bring in another striker. So Shola Amiobi and Sammy Amiobi, as you can see, the two S Amiobis are on the bench. Will I give Shola a run? If I somehow am just dominating Chelsea, maybe in like the 80th minute, I'll put him on and we'll see what he can do. We are seventh at the moment. And you look at that, like five points separating me and Manchester United, who are second. So if we get some good results, we could really climb up the table. We could finish top four if we have a really strong end to the season. All right, this is going to be good. 
We've got white kits playing in the snow. We'll see how that goes. Oh my god, can we get it out the middle of the pitch? I'm wearing white kits and... I don't know, oh my god, and the referee's against me as well. We're playing in the snow, referee hates me. It's This is going to be a great game. And look at this. It's another yellow card for Czech Teote. I'm going to go back and I'm going to have a look at how many yellow cards he gets. And I swear to god, it's not a coincidence. He's always getting yellow cards. I, I'm not doing it on purpose. He's always the one that gets the yellow cards in my team. That just happened. That really just happened. That's... I can't control... I can't control that. I can't stop that from happening. It just went over the back. Okay, let's watch this. That's not a good angle. It went in. Like, all the players around him. Goufran fell on his fucking ass. And... David Luiz is just out the back. Can't stop it. Can we just make up for it straight away with Goufran? With Goufran? With Goufran? With Goufran? It's a save by Schwarzer again playing in this game. Hopefully we'll be able to score against him here with this corner whipping in the cross. It's not too close to him and that's a good header but it's right to fucking Schwarzer. Half time. I'm getting some very decent attacks in but just some very shit. I don't even know how to say what's going on. Play on advantage. The tackle was good. The tackle was good. We should have got possession from it. And I'm fucking sick of not getting possession when I make a good tackle. Good running. Check Teote. Very good running. Keep it in. Oh, wow. That's going to work well for us. We're going to whip in across here. It's way too deep and there's literally nobody anywhere remotely close to it that's on my team. Fucking shit game. Oh, we got to keep running. This is on. This is on. We got something on here. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Oh, that pass is not good enough. It's always... Oh. I have been wanting to explain what's been going on in this game forever because I just have no idea, but I finally figured out what the word is. Crisp. We're just not crisp. We need this cross. We need someone at that far post. No. We're just not crisp enough with what we've been doing. A lot of fucking just all over the place, not really controlling the ball, no fluid movement, no accurate passes, everything. We've just been very sloppy today. It's been very... Very annoying. The goal that we conceded was shit. The sloppy crap. Just a fucking bad game. But this is good. This is a little bit better. I'm just going to get a shot off. That's not what I want. That is what I want though. Oh, I love it. The, ref the, the reflection. The deflection off of the hands of Schwarzer went right to a, uh, I think Suzuko, who just kept running forward, followed in, got the ball right on his chest. And I, for a second I thought, had we mucked that up, I wouldn't have believed it. But yes, it is Suzuko. Thank God. And I'm not too sure about this. Is that his first goal? No, it's his second goal. What a time to get it. And Suzuko again, the danger man playing against Chelsea. We could win this game if we get something going here. We're just going to throw this to Teote. Get him to cross. Fuck Teote. I hate Teote so much. I cannot wait to just fucking drop him. I just have to get... So I just have to transfer somebody in. Do we hear anything about Bakali? He has accepted the offer. Zakurai Bakali, the career mode god this year, is finally... And Davide Santo wants something done about his wage. Thanks, boss. No worries. We bought him for $5.5 million and 30000 for his wage. That's terrific. And we can actually play him right now. So, do I put him in the team, or do I put him on the bench? I'm going to put Bakali on the bench. I'm going to put Bakali... I'm putting Bakali on the bench for now, only because I'm very happy with Hatem Ben Arfa at the moment. And uh, I'm still going to be sure to give him plenty of games. But uh, the fact remains that I didn't. he didn't ask for a squad role. So, I can keep him on the bench for as long as I want. And hopefully, he won't complain, which will be good. And advancing on through now, I've finished up with transfers pretty much for now. But... Um, yeah, transfer offer, Davide Santon's wage demands, we're going to have to sort out player returns from injury, that's Loic Remy, so maybe we can play him in the game, you never know, but um, yeah, that's going to do it for me guys, thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video, I am yours again in the most folks, don't forget if you did to hit your target, which for today, 2,000 likes, we've bought Vicali, it's fantastic, I can't wait to play him out and use him, and yeah, we're going to be hopefully sealing our spot in the Capital One Cup final in the next episode. So thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description below. And I will uh, catch you later. Don't forget, guys, have a good one. And peace out. Bye-bye.